Houston, uh, GNC reminds us that the uh, same thing happened on uh, two, that during this phase we did get uh, hot quads, uh, and, it, and it was on A. So just keep an eye on it, and so will we. Roger, Jack. Roger, uh, we just came to the same conclusion, Jack, and uh, INCO suggests uh, cycling a power TV uh, camera power switch uh, off and then back on again. Uh, you mean S-band aux TV? That's affirmative. That, that's affirmative, excuse me. Roger, we're uh, handing over at the moment, and we'll get TV back in a second. Skylab Houston, uh, we got our picture back now. We can see the uh, earth in the background, and apparently the cycling switch didn't help, so we'll uh, probably live with what we have. I think that's certainly your call and looks like we concur. Uh, you can tell that the jets uh, forced the parasol up against the, side, the shiny surface of the workshop 
as uh, we fly around, and then it's the uh, recoil from the uh, um, uh, springs, the, the uh, fishing rods that just bring it back out. Roger, Owen, uh, we certainly concur. Uh, we think that'd be a prudent thing to do. Uh, you can see it flopping there in the breeze. In fact, we've blown it a little bit more than we'd like to, to tell you the truth. We'll try to drift off to the side a little bit and then uh, maybe we can uh, prevent hitting it. Roger, CDR, concur with that. As you can probably also tell, it appears to be rotated uh, by about the 5 to 10 degrees as expected. Roger. Do what you think is best to avoid uh, as much uh, uh, blowing of the parasol as you can. Uh, we'll do without the picture. Or Carnarvon. We'll stay up through the brief gap across between Carnarvon and Guam. Skylab control standing by. <laughs> 